Advisory Council, IPAC, has praised the Supreme Court for restoring the autonomy of local governments in Nigeria, stating it is a victory for sustainable democracy and development. The Council has also called on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to establish a monitoring team to ensure funds are used prudently and judiciously for the people. The national chairman of AIPAC, Yusuf Maman Dantale, praised the judiciary as the temple of justice and praised the federal government's decision to liberate 774 local governments from state governors. That it is the temple of justice and beacon of hope for all aggrieved people. The judgment of restored citizens' confidence in the judiciary as we strive to fix the nation and make it greater once again. The federal government's action in instituting the suit to liberate the 774 local government from the clauses of state governors is the best decision it has taken so far. It is a giant step forward in revamping the economy and bolstering grassroots development across the country. To maximize this development, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, should immediately set up a monitoring team to ensure funds released to local governments are prudently and judiciously used for the good of the people of Nigeria. On the other hand, IPAC advocates for the total scrapping of State Independent Electoral Commission, SIEC, as they have proven to be incompetent and incapable of conducting free, fair, credible, transparent, inclusive, and peaceful elections. They, are, they have become mere appendages of various government houses. CX do not have voters' registers, they do not have beavers, they do not have IRF portals, they do not have ballot boxes and others, other essential in conducting credible polls. The INET chairman, Professor Ma Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.